This month for Libra Rising shows a ton of excitement over learning something new in your life and very well possibly having a career pivot. If you are excited to dive into what exactly we can expect this December for you and your rising sign, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you are always up to date with what the stars have in store for you. If you're new here, hi, I'm Erin. I make videos about astrology. I also have music so you can stream that. And I also have courses and readings that you can check out down below if you want to do more with me. So starting off this month on the third, Venus in your first house is squaring Pluto in your fourth house. So you are attracting in things that you want, things are going well for you, but your family could be trying to manipulate that a little bit or causing some issues. Then on the fourth, Venus enters your second house, showing that for a lot of this month, you're going to be making some pretty good money and things are going to be flowing in for you financially. On the fifth to the sixth, Venus will try and Saturn in your sixth house showing that the people that you work with are helping support you to make more money. And on the 7th to the 8th, Mercury trines Jupiter between your 4th and 8th houses. Looks like your family is helping you out financially or with a structure that supports you to make more money. On the 9th to the 10th, there will be a Venus-Jupiter opposition between your 2nd and 8th houses, showing a really, really large, really awesome amount of money coming your way, likely because of some abundance from family or from an investment that your family is related to that is leading to income and money in your pocket. Then on the 12th, there is a new moon in your Sagittarius third house, a new beginning around writing, creativity, or being productive where you're really excited about learning something new and talking about it. On the 13th, Mercury will station retrograde in your fourth house of home or family, showing that you are rethinking things related to where you live and going inward to redo some things around the house or with family. Then on the 16th to the 17th, the sun will score a nap tube between your third and sixth houses. So there is some dishonesty or confusion between the people that you work with giving you feedback on your work. On the 17th to the 19th, Mercury will try and Jupiter again, showing even more positivity that is continuing on between family and money. And on the 20th to the 21st, Venus opposes Uranus in your second and eighth houses. So there could be a shock or a disruption to the large money thing coming your way. There could be a disruption there. On the 22nd, there's a Sun Mercury Kazemi in your Sagittarius third house, showing clarity, illumination, or awareness coming your way around something that you're learning or something that you were teaching others. On the 26th, there is a full moon in your Cancer 10th house, showing an ending or possibly pivoting in your career after letting go of a decision for what you want to do with your career path. So that's happening at the end of the month. And on the 27th to the 28th, Mercury conjoins Mars in your third house. You could be writing something really aggressive near the end of the month. Definitely having some criticism that you're putting out to the world or something that is just like kind of mean that you're putting out. Then on the 27th to the 28th, the sun will try and Jupiter between your fourth and eighth houses continuing on the very positive bond between family and finances. And on the 28th to the 29th, Mars squares Neptune showing that there's someone that you're working with that is confusing you and not helping you be productive or on point with your work. We end the month thankfully on the 30th with Venus entering your Sagittarius third house, showing that finally, as we end the month, things are getting easier and being better received with your output productively. If you already have thoughts around this December and what's coming up for you with your life, make sure that you comment down below anything that you want to share. The tarot card here that we have for Libra Risings this month is the Nine of Cups reversed. This usually shows that there's disappointment or lack of satisfaction. So I would say that this month will probably not be the month that things are ending. Maybe it could be that you get all this money and you're still not satisfied and you're seeing that the void is kind of endless. If you enjoyed this, it would mean the world if you did all the things like subscribe, share this video. If this is someone else's rising sign, I know you guys watch those. Otherwise, I will see you in the next month or I guess next year. Uh, so yeah, take care. Oh, well, there is one.